Hello, world. I want to share with you a series of technical interview prep videos that are helping me to prep for my Python technical interview and specifically in the machine learning field. First, let's get started with Euclidean and Manhattan distance. Let's say you have two points in the field. What is the fastest way for you to get from one point to another? And we always know, usually, it's a straight line. And this is the Euclidean distance. It's the distance that we're most familiar with and using every day. It's the shortest path between two points. And I want you to imagine there's like a triangle here. And this is a length of A, and this is a length of B. And you can imagine the hypotenuse is really A squared plus B squared, and the square root of that, because we're getting distance, not the area. And now, what is important is the Manhattan distance. What is the Manhattan distance? It's something we're less familiar with. I want to imagine if you're in the city of Manhattan, that's not where the name comes from. But if you're in the city of Manhattan, and imagine all the cities are city blocks, and you're here, and you want to get here, you can no longer just cross over the city blocks, can you? That is not allowed. So what you do is you go here to here, here to here, here to here, and then here to here. You would have wanted to go this way. Let's use a different color to denote that. You would have wanted to go this way, but that's no longer possible. So all of a sudden, you have to take into account of each of these sides. So you have A plus B plus A1 plus B1. And this is why I want you to imagine <clears throat> a Google map when you think about Manhattan distance. And this is why it will be useful occasionally to only think about Manhattan distance because that's the only one you can trace legally as I'm counterintuitive as it is. Why would I not want the shortest distance? Well, sometimes the shortest distance is not possible. But that's not why we're using machine learning. In machine learning, um, real quick, this is known as the L2 norm. And it's hard to remember. You just want to say, OK, you want to think about this. It's a quadratic. The LK norm is usually you got a vector um, to the kth power, vector 1 to the kth power, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, the square, the root of k. So you have the, oops. <clears throat> and you have the root of k. So that is the generalization of the LK norm. You can think of it, this as L1 norm, because your a, plus b is essentially a to the first power, b to the first power, and, you know, to the 1 over 1 powers. 